What's up, you guys? D. Marie here. Listen, today we're talking about the pros and cons of a commission shop. Listen, if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button, man, so you can catch these gems when they fresh. Don't wait on it. What are you doing? All right, let's get right into it. Barry the Barber reached out to me. Barry, thank you so much for your question. I love when you guys reach out to me directly. So, she asked a question, we're gonna answer it. Barry said, could the next informational video for us be about pros and cons of commission-based shops? I see you're still in one to this day, so it must not be so bad. But the only thing I really can't get with is the employee mindset that some commission-based shops still want you to have. Barry, thank you so much for your question. Appreciate you. So there's really two different questions in this. Um, I can't get with the employee mindset that some commission owners want you to have. Barry, commission owners want you to think like an employee because you're literally an employee. Pros and cons of commission-based shops. Pro, pros are you are an employee. So yeah, they do want you to think like an employee, but you being an employee means that they have a joint responsibility to make you successful, right? You have a responsibility to make yourself successful. You still gotta get out there and hustle. You still gotta, you know, do great haircuts. You gotta try to promote yourself on Instagram. But they also have a responsibility to make sure you're successful. If you don't eat, they don't eat. Conversely, in a booth run shop, some owners care because they just genuinely care, but they don't have a financial responsibility to care about your success. Booth rent, they gonna get their money anyway. Bro, the second thing that I like about being in a commission-based shop is that me being an employee, actually getting a paycheck, also means I get tax returns. Tax returns are your friend, you guys, I can't. Oh, we get this wrong. Tax returns are your friends. They show the government that you're actually making money, which means the government is gonna tax you, true. Uh, it's gonna help you prove your income, which is gonna help you finance houses, cars, barber shops. Just saying. Bro, third thing that I love about a uh, commission barber shop I show up and work at a commission-based shop. That's it. They keep track of all of my appointments for me. If I get sick and I got to call off, I don't actually call all of my employees. The shop does it for me. That's why we have a front desk managing all of that. All of the tracking, all of the booking, all of that other stuff is taken care of for me. I just show up and work. There's no additional work to be done on my side of the equation other than showing up, doing my best for each client, packing up and heading home. I pay my own to take care of those responsibilities for me. And ultimately, that's a trade-off in a commission-based shop. I think that a lot of the resistance to working in a commission-based shop is that the technicians feel as though they are giving part of what they have worked hard for to the salon or to the barbershop. And that's true, you are. In a booth rent situation, you're gonna take home all of your money right up front. You definitely are, and then you're gonna pay your booth rent expense. Your booth rent is a fixed expense, just like my commission is a fixed, ex is a fixed expense. But then you also have you know, all of your products that you're gonna buy. And my cost for many of those things is built into the percentage that I get back to the shop. So I know on a $60 haircut, if I'm at 50% that I'm taking home $30. I know that. In a booth rent situation, if you charge $60 for a haircut and you have a ton of expenses that week, you might actually get to keep $30 of that $60. In a booth rent situation, if you charge $60 for a haircut and you don't have a lot of expenses that week, maybe you get to keep $10, I mean $50 of that haircut. In a commission-based situation, I know. I charge $60 for a haircut, I know I get to keep 30 of that. There's no, there's no wavering. And for me, I feel like that's a better way to fix your expenses than a booth rent situation. 
Of course, the cons are everything opposite of that, right? The con is that uh, I am splitting my income with my owners. For me, in the environment that they created and the things that they care, take care of for me financially, I'm fine with that. A con would also be to some people, a con would also be that I'm not an independent contractor, I'm not an independent uh, person, I am an employee. I find that to be a pro, but to some people that's a con. And then also the con of the tracking expenses is that you can manage that type of information yourself. You can use a booking software to do that. Tons of barbers are doing it right now. They have reporting in those uh, softwares that you can use to track everything that I can track through my owners. Uh, that's just the thing you'd have to do on your own. I don't feel like it. And so pros and cons of a Commission-based shop, from my perspective, I love my shop. BMG, baby! I have no desire to go back to a Boots Rent shop. I mean, it's worth it. You guys, let me know. Are you in a Boots Rent shop or a commission-based shop? Have you considered going commission if you're Boots Rent? I'd love to know. And if you've been in a commission situation and you got out of it, why? What did you feel like you weren't getting out of it? I'd love to hear your guys' input on it.